What's good, you guys? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I'm back like I never left this mother. Yes, Sersky. Man, this is disturbing to me, bro. This is disturbing. <sighs> Say, Meek Mill and Diddy been clapping cheeks, bro. Clapping cheeks. Leaked audio. This is disturbing. Bro, this is disturbing. Y'all grab your popcorn. Spicy. Did he have that man in the room? Look, yes. I put my ear to the f door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the f was going on, but I just heard balls slapping against cheeks. I heard struggling to take. Ooh, chow. So it looked like the allegations about Meek being Diddy's boy toy were true after all, because an audio just leaked of Meek screaming for his life when Diddy mercilessly clapped his cheeks. One thing about the internet, they ain't never gonna forget and always come through with receipts, honey. Now, if y'all remember, Meek was exposed for being Diddy's little twink a couple weeks ago, but Meek denied these allegations and even started threatening the people who were speaking on it. Well, it looks like he was running his mouth a little too much because people started digging for evidence and girl Dang. they found some things that not even meek can deny apart from the disturbing audio of him getting pounded by diddy there's also an old song where meek blatantly admitted to getting freaky with diddy for a check oh y'all better sit back for this one because we've got a lot to get into here okay so as most of y'all already know by now diddy is currently on the run and he's reportedly hiding in the caribbean island after the feds flooded his home and raided it for evidence that they could finally throw him in jail with. Now, both of his sons, Justin and Christian, who were also tied to his dirty dealings, were cuffed up and thrown into police vehicles. Now, while all this was going down, the attention quickly shifted from the raid to Meek Mill after Diddy's ex-bodyguard leaked an audio tape of Meek getting pounded by Diddy during one of their freak-off sessions. The reason why this got a lot of people's attention is because Meek had already been exposed as Diddy's boy toy a couple weeks ago, but he adamantly denied and tried to make it look like people were just trying to emasculate him. Whole time, he really was bending over for Diddy. Like, you cannot make this up. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, a music producer by the name Lil Rod filed an explosive multi-million dollar lawsuit against Diddy a couple weeks ago for SA. Not only did he incriminate Diddy, but he also name dropped other people in this lawsuit, including Diddy's sons, Justin and Christian Combs, Young Miami, Usher, and Meek Mill. Apparently, Justin and Miami were in cahoots with Diddy essaying a bunch of girls, and Miami was the one in charge of illegally servicing these girls to Diddy. Rodney also went to expose Diddy for sleeping with some of the men in the industry, and in exchange, he would give them all the opportunities they want in Hollywood. And as you can already guess at this point, Meek was at the top of that list of men letting Diddy slide in for a couple Dang, opportunities. Bro. Rodney even said Diddy confessed to him that he coerced Stevie J into a freak off session with the promise of getting Stevie a Grammy for producer of the year. Now, this is where things get even messier because somewhere in the lawsuit, he also exposed Meek Mill and Usher as one of the people that often came to these freak offs. Rodney didn't explicitly mention Meek Mill and Usher names in the lawsuit like he did with everybody else, but he gave some descriptions that had very specific details that pretty much made everybody know who he was talking about. Like he described Meek as a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj, and described Usher as a male R&B singer who performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. Now, I don't think I need to tell y'all all this, but Meek is definitely a rapper from Philadelphia who dated Nicki from 2015 to 2017. Usher also also just had a very successful Vegas residency, which reportedly grossed over a hundred million dollars. And he did in fact perform at the Super Bowl a couple weeks ago. Anyway, going back to Rodney's lawsuit, he claimed that he witnessed Usher and Diddy hooking up several times and making out with the girls that Young Miami and Dang. Justin would bring for him. Rodney recalled the time where they were partying on Diddy's yacht and he saw both Meek and Usher messing with several girls. The lawsuit said, rapper, Meek on Combs' yacht, consorting with underage girls and S workers. And do y'all remember what I said about Diddy confessing to Rodney that he coerced Stevie J to sleep with him? Well, it turns out it wasn't just Stevie. Cause according to Rodney, Diddy explicitly told him that he also had hooked up with Usher and Meek several times. The lawsuit stated, Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in 
intercourse with rapper Redacted and R&B singer Redacted and Stevie J. So people were beyond disgusted by the things that Diddy has been doing with Usher and Meek and they immediately jumped on social media to drag them. Meek started spiraling all over social media and tweeted a bunch of things in a desperate attempt to defend himself but folks weren't having it. He said, I would trash any celebrity if they tried a wild move on me. No pics. Literally go crazy on them. That is all. I'm from Philly, man. All my guys always watch me around this wild industry. Every black blog site enhanced that post to make me seem gay. I change laws for our people. I donate millions. They are designed to destroy the image of black leaders. It can't work with me, though. You gotta really kill me, and I still will get bigger after death. This God, not me, lol. He also got into a huge Twitter feud with DJ Academics, who was only reporting on the news. Like, imagine attacking somebody who's just doing his job. It's crazy. What's even crazier is that it took hours of Meek running his mouth on Twitter before he finally addressed these allegations. He said, I'm from Philly. I don't do coke or freaky ASS Molly. Nobody won't even offer me coke because I'm that heavy. No man or what would ever approach me about gay activity. And the whole place don't get flipped. Woke up seeing this on every blog like they know I'm coming, lol. After this, people backed off for a while because it was clear as day that Meek was beginning to have a mental breakdown and they ain't want him to spiral anymore. That was until Diddy's ex-bodyguard leaked an audio of Meek getting pounded by Diddy. Chow, I was shocked to the core when I first heard the audio. Aside from the fact that the voices of the audio sound exactly like Meek and Diddy, it was very disturbing to listen. Because because Meek was screaming at the top of his lungs, and it really sounded like he was in serious pain, but Diddy just kept going. Now y'all know, I can't play the full audio for y'all, cause it really is that disturbing, but I'ma just let y'all hear a little bit. And again, just know, it's very disturbing and very sensitive. Dang, bro. Now, the ex-bodyguard in question, who recorded and leaked the audio, made an entire video narrating how it came out. He said it happened during one of Diddy's freak-offs, and he decided to lean by the door to record what he was hearing, because he was shocked to see Meek allowing Diddy to pound him like this. He said Diddy intentionally spiked everybody's drinks at that party, so they would be too drunk and too high to even know what's going on. But he didn't drink, and that's why he was sober enough to witness what he and Meek were doing. Ooh, chill. Yeah was spiked son like all the champagne was spiked everybody was passed the fuck out i don't drink i don't drink so i was playing that shit off like i don't fucking drink i smoke like i smoke and i had my own weed but like everybody was passed out yo did he had that man in the room look yes i put my ear to the fucking door and i brought the phone because diddy started going in overdrive i ain't know what the fuck was going on but i just heard balls slapping against his cheeks i heard struggling to take i heard this being like yeah, daddy like when, when i when, when he started call, all that daddy this and daddy that and then i heard some hollering and struggling like yeah i kept the phone there and i recorded all that shit because i was like this the diddy bitch. everybody that's crazy what the day that me and puff was a little too friendly anytime two rappers or two people in the industry come dressed up alike on more than one occasion. I mean, do y'all remember that video of Meek in the pool with his slightly curved as if he was trying to ease off some pain while Diddy recorded him and called that man daddy? Diddy kept talking about how Meek was putting in that work. I don't know about y'all, but that video looks like it was taken just minutes after he disrespected Meek in that bedroom. Hey, what's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Somebody reacted by saying, looks like a private pool party. Meek cooling that hoe. Another person said, Meek Mill cooling those cheeks after putting in that work. And to make matters even worse, Meek was caught following a corn page on Twitter that exclusively posts videos of black men pounding each other. Maybe he was trying to learn some new positions for Diddy. Who knows? But as soon as people caught him, he immediately unfollowed the page. As if all this information wasn't incriminating enough, an old song 
song that Meek recorded a while ago leaked online, and he seemingly revealed to getting his cheek slapped by Diddy in order to make it in Hollywood. The song is about him chasing his dreams and trying to make it in Hollywood, and then he goes back to ask for forgiveness for what he did with Diddy. Y'all, just listen to this. I, I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. <laughs> Dream chases. I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Real street nigga forever. I'm the king of Philly. Baby, this is really sad. And it's clear as day Dang. that Diddy has exploited the hell out of Meek for a very long time. And Meek couldn't do anything to stop it because he thought if he made his body accessible to Diddy, then Diddy would elevate his career. That obviously didn't happen long because Meek's career is in shambles. He got dropped from his label, his last album flopped miserably, and now he's an industry outcast because no rapper wants to associate with him after finding out what he's been doing with Diddy. Now, as usual, people had a whole lot to say about this. Like this person who said, I can't believe so many of our black men are putting their minds and bodies through unnatural things. That sound, I should have never heard that. Another person said, I feel violated after listening to that audio. Thanks. Terrifying. I damn so feel but violated, now I want to know crazy. your thoughts. What do y'all think about me getting his cheeks clapped by Diddy in order for opportunities in Hollywood? And do y'all think Meek is just another victim of Diddy's depraved ways or did he actually enjoy it? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't boy, 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 boy. Me Millie. Or should I call you Cheek Millie now? Cheek Mill. Did it been pounded for you? Daddy, I don't think that's a, that's could be the first time. For a man to call another man daddy in the pool and the way Meek was in that pool, it definitely looked like they had just finished. Damn, Meek. Your album flopping. Diddy about to go to prison. You been exposed. Cat Williams is right. 2024 is up on everybody, bro. That's crazy.